can take some notes on some things and binders and it's not a bad idea to maybe have some some things written down and, and before you start your sales day maybe flip through a flip through a, a little spiral notebook like that and remind yourself hey always set the agenda yeah you know what might be another thing that we could put on there you have the right to ask the prospect your qualifying questions maybe that would be a good reminder put that in your spiral notebook okay how about this one you have the right to stop giving away free information that might be yeah. a good reminder what an, another one might be you have the right to be in control of the sales process okay so cheat sheets anybody can think of another one any other any other thing that we might put on a cheat sheet that we want you know to to kind of gear ourselves up for the day or prepare i think preparation if you want to be in the one deal one sell a day club i think preparation is kind of important you know getting your mind frame right, getting, getting your sales hat on so to speak you know what I mean? I got this, this thing I do when I talk about sales. You guys remember the movie Over the Top with Sylvester Stallone? He would have this hat on like this. It was like yeah. a John Deere hat or something or a trucker hat. And then he would say, before I arm wrestle, I turn my hat around like this. He said, it's like flipping a switch. Yeah. So it is like flipping a switch. I like that idea. Flip the switch. It's a trigger. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's, I think Anthony Robbins, if you like that stuff, it's an anchor, maybe. He talks about setting anchors, changing his mental state, you know, having some index cards that prepare you for today's objections, that remind you of how to be a professional salesman. Your bill of rights is important. You have the right to expect to be treated with the respect as that of any other professional. What if you reminded yourself of that every day? That'd be pretty cool. You have the right to work smart and efficiently with people who need your services. Mm. Man, would that not just be a total mind shift for you going in and, and instead of being a beggar for a deal, you now have the right to make as much money as you're willing to put in, you know, work for, and you don't have to take no keep off nobody, right? You have the right to enjoy your work, have fun and be treated with respect while you go to the bank. All right. I have cheat sheets like this. In fact, I'm looking at one right now. That's how I'm saying all this, right? You think I got all that memorized? Well, I sounded like I had it memorized maybe, but no. <laughs>